how it all began. Ah. Which, of course, ah. leads to nonsense like this. A few months ago, I reunited with my childhood friend, Eddie Brock. What is that? It's our inheritance. Eddie's dad and my dad worked together before they died. We believe the suit may be the final step. It's finally a cure for cancer. People are dying all over the world. All I want to do is try to help them. But because I signed the wrong paper for the wrong person, They had taken the suit away from Dad, and I was going to take it back. I thought, I knew, I could finish what he started. I felt good. Great. More than myself. It didn't last. What's happening to me? Get this off of me! I don't know what the suit had become or what it had done to me, but I have super spider powers and I couldn't control it, so I don't think anyone could ever hope to. But when Eddie found out what I had done, who I really was, well, he was pretty angry. Our fathers died to create me. Listen to me, Eddie. You're smarter than this. This isn't you, it's the suit. Look. back. It's really not done. I can't go swinging around in my nerd clothes. I just have to finish stitching up a hole in the butt and then I'll give it back to you. I can explain the hole in the butt, by the way. Please don't. Come by the place in about half an hour and I'll have it ready for you. All right. I'm gonna run by home and grab my web shooters. have attempted to apprehend the man, identified as 33-year-old Herman Schultz. In a daring daylight bank robbery attempt, Schultz... Ta-da! <laughs> you scared me! You done with my butt... uh... hole... yet? There's an idiot causing trouble a few blocks from here. I need to skedaddle. Out of the way, piglet! All of you! Just back off! I never knew your name was Herman. Oh no, it's you! Well, you are kind of in my neighborhood, Herman. Good old predictable Herman. See you around, pal. Please, no. I got kids. I got a dog. You've got a dog. That's a Homer. 
I envy you guys. You're happy just being walking cliches. Seriously, good for you. But come on, guys, leave the lady alone. I need to web these guys when I knock them down, or they'll just keep getting back up. You okay? Ah, get away from me, you freak. It's that kind of quality human interaction that makes it all worthwhile. Oh, hippie, more of you. <laughs> Need to get home. Yo, 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 Spidey! Johnny Storm of the world famous Fantastic Four. What on earth are you doing in Queens? What, I can't be in Queens? I have to be here, but you? Go save the world. Oh, I got a better idea. What do you say, uh, quick race around Queens? What is this? You think just because you can fly in a streak of fire, ooh, you can beat me? <laughs> I do believe that's what I'm saying. Then I've got two words for you. Bring it on. Ready, set, go! faster than I thought. Now I own you! <laughs> yeah, whatever. You ever want to race again, look me up. I'm usually hanging out by the Baxter building. It's Tobes. No, listen. Listen to me. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Queens and I... Listen! I saw the suit. You heard me? Yes! The suit. I don't know what happened. I don't know how many days passed. I don't even know how I'm still alive. If you could call this alive.
breaking news from Queens. A creature described by eyewitnesses as looking, quote, sort of like a rhinoceros but bigger, is rampaging through the streets of the city. We have not yet confirmed reports that this is the same creature that Iron Man... Psst. Hey, you remember the big rhinoceros-looking guy? You're gonna have to be more specific. He's, like, on the loose. Oh, man. The trick finals next period. Ten minutes there, kick the rhino guy in the ding-ding, and ten minutes to get back. You can do that with your mask on backwards. Go! Oh, this hurts already. Three! Four! Rhinoceros horn, or you just have to be to see. I am so scared I can't even finish my lame joke. Don't worry, ah, nothing's broken. Except my spine, a few ribs, maybe everything else. No, he's about to fall. I guess there's no such thing as a slow day when you're a big time superhero. How about a guy dressed up like a teddy bear who gives hugs? How about that, huh? Just once, a huggy bear instead of a big rhino or, or a scorpion. Wet cement, big crazy guy, wrecking ball. This gives me an idea. Deseros, my goodness! Deseros, my goodness! Deseros, my goodness! Maybe if I jump on his back and beat him. Contradict, not pass it, extirpate! <laughs> on his back is gone. Trask. Trask. Why does that name seem so familiar? Not with the big words again. Uh, time to abscond this locust! Ow! Uh, must have taken a nastier beating than I thought. My brain feels like it wants to climb out of my skull. Ow. Uh, okay. Wow, that was odd. Maybe I just need to take a couple days off. Relax, just not be Spider-Man for a few days. Maybe actually do something that doesn't involve, I don't know, people trying to kill me. The next thing I remember is feeling a, some kind of... That's our boy. Eddie Brock. I don't get it. Where's the suit? The suit! The suit did this! Where is the suit? 
Read your intel. Boys? Are you okay? Uh, my head is killing me. It's just pounding so hard. I think it's my spider sense thingy going nuts. You, you might need to get somewhere safe. I'm totally serious. Brock, sit. You guys with shield? You're in the way. Go down. Prep for evac. Hey! What is this? What's going on? Nothing that concerns you. My bruised ribs make you different. Um, yeah. Okay then. Sure. I'll just stay here and, um, oh, that's... This suit Eddie has, it was made by our fathers. But it used my dad's DNA as a starting palette. So, it's like, part you? No. Well, yeah. In a creepy way. Yeah. When I got close to it in the museum, it felt like my brain was going to crawl out of my face. Ew. Uh... Ew, again. Sorry. Do you know what you're doing? Kind of. What is it? I... I have no idea. What are those black things? Yeah, that's the I have no idea part. Edward? Edward, wake up. Edward, wake up. Where? Where am I? Your home, Edward. This is where what you've become was born. I know you. 
Boulevard Trask. This is my associate, Dr. Adrian Toombs. I did my graduate work with your father's lab. I, I was there when he and Dr. Parker... Let's get down to business, shall we, Edward? The Venom suit is worth billions of dollars in government contracts. We wish to test... This suit, it, it, it's too much for anyone to control. It will kill you if we leave you in there alone. <sighs> I just... When the suit consumes you, we will find someone else to test it. One way or the other, Edward, we will get what we are after. All right. What do I do first? This is a bad gig, man. I don't get it. Oh, it's worth tangling with this thing. <laughs> a couple hundred grand in all the new... <laughs> all right, people, on your toes. No, I want out. You ready? I'm serious. I don't. Hey, freaks vulnerable to electricity. This will be fun. Bring it! Another superhero on the side? I thought you and me had something special. I bet it's Daredevil, isn't it? What does he have? To... Back off, kid! I did it! I finally got that little yutz! Alright, let's finish this up. Fine! Like hell! I got dibs! That freaking hurt! Get up. Why can't you keep this electric guy you're supposed to be keeping in prison in prison? And that lady, you silver lady that captured Eddie the other day. Why couldn't she? Peter, you need to call. I need to quit getting almost killed by stupid people is what I need.
secured. General Fury? Osborne's gone. Yes, sir. Of course he is. Why else hit this target? What is that? Jamming device. High-tech disposable. Blinds our eye in the sky. That's where we thought the boat had sunk. If Osborne is on the loose again, should we mobilize units around Parker? If we do our jobs, Parker will never even know this happened. every day. Almost every day. But not every day. Hey! Where'd you get the cool suit? And by cool, I mean cumbersome and riveting. But don't take it too hard. I mean, clearly, as you can see, I'm kind of a costume design snob. Fine, it's a nice suit. Sorry. Jeez. wanted to talk before, but I'm starting to think you need a good old-fashioned can of water. You are very irritating. Really? Oh, I like to think I'm more charming than irritating. Seriously. Well, that just figures. Hey, I know you get this all the time, but any of you see a big, scary robot guy with a backpack? Latvian embassy? That's just great. I wonder, is there a connection between the suit and Spider-Man? When Spider-Man came on the scene, it seemed that you were more focused on him than the target we told you to test against. When he was there, Spider-Man, I felt like the suit was under control. I... I felt good. Just being in proximity to Spider-Man? Why would that be? It happened one other time. Parker. Parker? Richard Parker? He's dead. But... His son is not. The suit was built with Richard Parker's DNA, and his son is Spider-Man. Wow. And getting close to him is giving Brock more control over the suit. Get Brock to tell you everything. His name is Peter Parker. He lives with his aunt in Queens. He's still in high school. And he'll come to you, of his own free will, 
Oh, I don't think we have to worry about that. What the hell are you doing? ASAP. I'm glad you're loose, Brock. I can kick your ass good and proper now. Steady Brock, but we've still got Peter Parker. Is this for real? Told you. Superhero conspiracies.com. It, it, it says I'm a deformed mutant. You're not. And, and some doof calling himself Speedball is the coolest thing since the Ultimates. And this is going to haunt you. Yes. Yes, it is. Keep reading. Well, some guy named RPB says... That's the one. ...that the Latverians have secretly developed a biotactical legion. Uh-huh. That sounds a whole lot like the guy that smacked me around last night. Well, there you go, then. Jeez. If the Latverians have some armored goon busting into labs and stealing things... Huh. Maybe I should go check it out. Or we could go to the movies. Hold on. I have another call. Rooftop. Now. This is my life. Kid. This is a real intrusion. I need you to back off the Latverian thing. Why? Sorry, kid. 18 and older. What does that mean? It means I need you to back off. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. But this is my life. Don't come here. <laughs> Thanks, kid. 
General, do you think he'll behave? Knowing Peter Parker the way I do, I'm absolutely sure that he will do the exact opposite of what I just asked him to do. Eighteen and over? Huh, how does he think he is? Great. Yeah, this is exactly what I need in my life right now. Then again, it has been almost two hours since I last feared for my life. This happens, something even worse happens about two seconds. Suppressor collar on Osborne three minutes ago. Get this area sealed off inside of ten seconds or I'll fire the first son of a. You with fury? Hmm, good job here. Could you have made a bigger mess? No, and believe me, I tried. Hmm, you've got some mouth on you. Wow, you'd think you'd be a teeny bit nicer considering I just did your job for you. I require a sample.
Peter Parker? What? Ah, uh, what happened? Oh, my head. Ow! Ah! Uh, who are you? There's enough tranquilizer in your system to take down a really large horse. Don't fight it. I know who you are, Peter Parker. I can get at you and anyone else you know. Mary Jane Watson, May Parker. Leave my family alone. Get in the damn car. Sable's order! Take Parker with minimal injury. You <laughs> wrecked my costume and web shoes in Crazy Lady's car. You're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> Bad idea. Get back in the car. Capture you, not to kill innocent people. Ah, oh, you're crazy with a heart of gold. Can we stop all the... What is wrong with you? You're just gonna stand there? Thinking about it? Crazy silver hottie threatened my family. I should let Eddie eat her. He'd be doing me a favor. <sighs> but then I'd feel guilty about that too, because clearly I don't have enough things to feel guilty about. So now here I am, trying to save the crazy woman. If my life were any more stupid, it would be done. <laughs> lady? Crazy lady? I can't be there. She'll be killed. <laughs> Stop it, Eddie! Ugh. My head! Like the tranks weren't enough. Now I've got this screwy Eddie. My head! Like the tranks weren't ah. enough. Now I've got this screwy Eddie headache again. You have to start fighting the suit. Because I'm tired. Are we done, Eddie? Ah, oh, thank goodness. I didn't know how much longer I was going to be able to stay conscious.
Oh, what's going on? Where am I? Tell me, Mr. Parker. Did you ever wear the Venom suit yourself? What is this? Did you wear the suit? W once. Only for a few hours. Hmm. It appears that the suit bonded itself to you. I it's amazing you've survived any encounter with Eddie Brock at all. The microscopic suit particles in you want to join with the suit Brock wears. Fascinating. Hmm. Let's see if we can help them. In case this kills you, I, I want you to know I think your father was a genius. Ten years ahead of the curve. Status? What's going on? I have absolute, total control. Now then, I have a score to settle. Which way do you figure? Trask's offices. My father! Tell me about my father! Everything you could ever want to know about your parents is right here. I've had it since I found out. Again? Down, boy. My contract with Trask expired ten minutes ago. And if you're chasing him, don't worry. He doesn't know how to fly that helicopter. But you? Eh, no hard feelings. Business is business, eh? Start new. Peter, I have all these things in my head, things I want to say, things I think is your father you'll need to hear. 
You're going to find that there are people in this world, people who you are going to look at and say, why is this person like this? I find myself surrounded by people who will do or say anything just for the appearance that they are better than they are. There were three survivors of the crash. They all reported seeing the same thing. One of the witnesses was my mother. She died in the ambulance. Peter, you did good today. Eddie needs to see this. It's about our parents. Eddie's not here. He was gone before we showed up. We'll find him. We always do. Mr. Trask. I have been looking forward to this. Eddie? I can't believe. You know what I can't believe? I can't believe that after all the things you did, all the things you made me do, that after all of that, all you got was three years in a golf course prison. You can't do anything to me in here. The guards... They aren't real. Well, You want to talk about it? Uh, I wouldn't... I wouldn't know where to begin. You can just ramble. I'm okay. I love you. I know. It's just... What? Eddie. I mean... He's out there. And I don't know if I'm scared of him... ...or for him. No. I'm here. <laughs>